Greetings and welcome to St. Mark's United Church in Whitby's online service. Today, the United Church women will be offering you stories and uh, information and ways that they um, are in community with one another and the wider world. invite us now to acknowledge that we all reside on the lands and territories of our Indigenous brothers and sisters. We honour this truth and we commit to being reconciled with all people, our earth, all life, as we walk hand in hand with our Holy One to guide us. Let us take a moment just to centre ourselves as we enter into this time of gathering. With softened gaze or closed eyes, we deep breathe in and out and in and out, making room for the spirit to be engaged, to be within, and to come out into the midst around us. We welcome life. We welcome the holy. And we pray that we will each find on our journeys a way to love self, life, and to know how much we are loved by the one who brought us into being, and we give thanks. Amen. I am Gail McCarl, President of the UCW. The United Church Women of St. Mark's are a group of ladies that pray, play, and work together. There are two units, the New Horizon Unit 
the Open Door Unit, last year we formed a coffee club for those who would like to drop in. They meet once a month for worship, crafts, business, and general friendship gab sessions. The UCW has a general meeting five times a year when we all gather to hear various speakers, have worship, play, games, and discuss upcoming projects. Our various projects over the years have helped in many areas. We donate to the St. Mark's General Fund and the Mission and Service Fund. We also contribute to local charities like Durham Hospice, Luke's Place, St. Andrew's Outreach, Footprints, and the Christmas Hamper Fund. This morning you will hear from different ladies on how we have built our quilt of friendship that brings us all together throughout the year. Ecclesiastics chapter 4 verses 9 to 12. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he has not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Good morning. The Open Door Unit was established some 35 years ago. We were a group of stay-at-home moms and babysitting was provided. Now many of us are grandmothers. We have evolved through the years and have welcomed new members. As a unit, we give back to the general UCW by assembling and selling Apostle Bean Soup, catering the yearly Scout Banquet, contributing to the annual bazaar with our seasonal crafts, and we have sponsored several merchant markets. We are the Open Door. I invite all women to join us on the second Monday of each month for wonderful fellowship and service. Good morning. The UCW Spring Auction is an annual fundraising event held in April. Congregational members donate handmade items home baking, household goods, and gift cards. Local businesses provide us with numerous donations of products or gift certificates for service. The support we receive from our members and from the community is greatly appreciated. COVID can't keep us down. Good morning. I have been asked to tell you about the St. Mark's Quilters, which I have been a, a member of since its conception. They are a small group of women who meet on the, in the stage room on Wednesday mornings. We meet together for fellowship of good friends with chatting and laughter as we work together on a common project. We are pleased to be able to contribute financially to the UCW with the service we offer to the public, which is to do with hand sewing that makes a complete quilt from a hand quilted top, a layer of stuffing and a backing fabric. In the 40 plus years since St. Mark's Quilters started, many women from St. Mark's and from the wider community as well have been a part of this group for varying periods of time. We have become well known in the area for our quilt shows put on every two years in a cooperation with the UCW. We are very grateful to the many people who lend us their beautiful quilted items for display. With our hands, needles, and thousands of miles of thread, we have stitched together over 400 quilts. We hope to add to the number when we can meet again. The UCW, formed in 1962, is a successor to the Women's Missionary Society. So one of our main interests 
is supporting the United Church of Canada Mission and Service Fund through member offerings and our fundraising projects. Our UCW regularly contributes about 30% of St. Mark's Mission and Service commitment. We also support the United Church of Canada Emergency Fund for World Relief. This is one way UCW makes a difference locally, nationally, and internationally. When the UCW first came into being at St. Mark's, we were known as Unit 5. Later, we were studying women of the Bible. It was decided that some of us were Marys and some of us were Marthas. Thus, the name Mary Martha came into being. We, when we first started, we were a group of young women with small children. Over the years, our children grew up and had children of their own. We grew close, closer and older together. As a group, we decided we still wanted to be a part of the UCW, but with a little less commit, financial commitment. That was how the, the uh, coffee club was born. The first meeting was in January 2020 with a lot of discussion for, of the, on the format of our time together. I agreed to be the leader and Irene Wilde would be our treasurer. We met again in February and decided we would meet every other month with the exception of July and August. Hi, my name is Sandra Chase. Our New Horizon unit is the only one that meets in the evening on the third Monday of the month. Originally, our members were working ladies and didn't have much time to attend a meeting. That was just one more thing to do. Yet, we felt we needed more than just Sunday morning connections with our faith community. It was up to us to make the meetings and time spent worthwhile. Our meetings have structure with a program of interest that is presented by one of our members. These stimulate lots of conversation, interaction, and humor amongst the group at our meetings. We are not into making crafts or baking goods but we wanted to make money to contribute to the UCW Treasury to support the work of the church and other worthy projects. We sell cheese to our church family and the profits help us make our annual financial commitment. What else could we do? Several of us enjoy golfing and the men of the church had a golfing day, but the women did not. So, New Horizons decided we would sponsor a ladies golf afternoon. We had a great time. You could hear the chuckling all over the golf course. There was food, prizes, a ladies trophy, along with some tall tales out as to how long a drive was made or how they sunk that impossible putt. We had a fun, enjoyable time with lots of camaraderie. We even made some money for UCW. Last year, COVID-19 presented a challenge. But as we all know, women are good at solving issues. There was a desire to have some fun, get some exercise, be able to talk and interact with each other while still socially distancing. The sun shone and we had a great day for golfing. We had lots of prizes and winners have their names engraved on the ladies trophy. We all enjoyed the afternoon. You could hear the increased volume of our conversation and lots of laughs as we were further apart. And instead of food, we all got a goodie bag. Another benefit, we made some money for the work of the ladies of the church. You are welcome to join us this year. Our unit is only about a dozen people, but we are a group that help each other 
and we know we have people who would be the first ones to offer help, companionship, and of course, prayer. Hi, my name is Nancy Spires, and I've been a member of the New Horizons UCW group for about four years. From the very start of my membership with this amazing group of ladies, I was so impressed with their dedication to the people of the congregation, to the running of church affairs, and to their efforts regarding fundraising. Even during this COVID-19 pandemic, their resolve to continue fundraising has never faltered. During all this, their faith has held strong. My first event was the fashion show, and it was a great way to get to know many of the UCW members. The start of this fundraising activity at St. Mark's dates back to about 2011. The event itself attracts not only the members of the church, but also many family members and friends. Our models are chosen from our congregation and their families. We even have some gentlemen from our church who help out setting up the tables and props. In the future, we plan to have some children and male models in our fashion show. For our most recent shows, we have tried to choose local clothing businesses to supply the clothes for the show to help support our community. They get excellent advertisement for their stores and the attendees at the show frequently get good bargains. A time for socializing follows the fashion show in a beautifully decorated hall. As part of the evening, delicious treats such as cupcakes, tarts, cookies and squares made by our members are served with tea and coffee. As a bonus, many door prizes are awarded to several lucky attendees. The present COVID pandemic put a hold on our 20 and 2021 shows, but when we finally return to normal and our church opens up, we will once again hold our fashion show. We invite all of you to join us. The Fall Bazaar presented by the UCW has been an annual tradition of St. Mark's for many years. Held in October, it remains one of the major fundraisers of our UCW. This event reaches out to all members of our church family and the support and the participation of the congregation each year is very much appreciated. Last year, due to the pandemic, our bazaar was conducted online. This year, when vaccinations have been completed, we aspire to an in-person bazaar. It has always been a wonderful day of fellowship and fun for both workers and attendees. Additionally, it provides us with an opportunity to remind the community of our church and to invite people into St. Mark's. Roses are synonymous with St. Mark's anniversary service. Each year on anniversary Sunday in November, the front of the church is decorated with multicolored roses. The single roses are beautifully arranged in bud vases and include the following verse. An anniversary is a special day, and this is why we want to say, this simple rose so bright and new shows the love we have for you. At the conclusion of the service, the roses are delivered to various members of the congregation who may have suffered a bereavement during the preceding year, have reached the milestone of 90 years and beyond, or are living in a senior's residence or long-term care home. This lovely tradition began many years ago and represents one more way in which the St. Mark's United Church women continue to reach out with kindness and love. The women of St. Mark's offer reception services at a nominal fee for all church members. We are happy to provide a light luncheon for you to celebrate birthdays or anniversaries or to honor the passing of a loved one. We are here for you in good times or bad, with fellowship and support. I hope that many of you have experienced the beauty, 
the joy and the awe of no room in the inn. Beginning in 2018 with 68 nativity scenes displayed in our assembly hall to 105 in 2019, this event has left many people expressing that amongst the hustle and the bustle of Christmas, they found a place of peace that truly expressed the meaning of the Christmas season. Nestled in twinkling lights and evergreen boughs are the creches. Many have been purchased from countries around the world. Some are family keepsakes and heirlooms, while others are handmade treasures. There are very tiny ones and ones that are several feet tall. Some are made from wood and others are made from china, porcelain, glass, lavastone, and even one was made with elastic bands. Many have delicate features, but to the light of the children, there are nativity scenes of Charlie Brown and the Little Tykes too, all telling the story of Jesus' birth. December the 11th, 2021, we hope to once again bring no room in the inn to the St. Mark's Community of Faith. Let us pray. God, as we conclude yet another service where we have been separated in body, but together in spirit, keep our faith strong. We know this pandemic will end, not nearly as soon as we would want, but like people throughout history, we will survive this too. As we try to stay at home to be safe, Help us to reach out to others in whatever ways we can to encourage and bring hope. And in the words of the old Irish blessing, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. 
And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen. Thank you for joining us, for participating in this journey. Next week, we will be celebrating Mothering Sunday, and we hope that you will walk with us through that time together. If you appreciate what we offer, please give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, leave comments. And for more information of how to connect to the St. Mark's Community of Faith, stay tuned to the end of the video and there will be information for all the different ways that you can get to know who we are. Thank you again. Take gentle care, deepest blessings, and see you soon. Bye-bye.